Welcome to our video tutorial on graphing exponential functions. We are going to look at four graphs and the ideas behind graphing them are what is pivotal to graphing an exponential function. First, we are going to identify what we call the center point of the graph. Same as we've done with other functions. Here the x coordinate should be 4 because when we plug in x equals 4 we would get 0 and the y coordinate of the center point is just going to be a negative 1. This graph will open up because the 3 is positive and we will need to multiply the original result by 3 on a vertical perspective when sketching the graph. So first we're going to plot the axes. We need more room to the right than we need to the left so we'll put that as so. We need more room up than we need down so we'll put that as so. Make sure to label your axes this will be the x-axis, this will be the y-axis, and now we plot the center point. Center point is at 4 comma negative 1, there it is, and we're going to draw in our new set of axes. So when you do this, we're going to draw it in like so, we're going to draw it in like so. Please make sure that it's clear to me what the original axes are. They should have the labels, it shouldn't have to be something where we're guessing. Now the first point is normally just up 1 but we're multiplying by 3. So in this case the first point will be up 3 from that new center point. With this function where the base is 2, usually when we go left 1 it would be up 1 half, the reciprocal of 2. But we're multiplying it by 3 so it will be up 3 halves. And ordinarily when we go right 1 it would be up 2 but we're multiplying it by 3, so it will be up 6. When you draw the graph in, please make sure that it gets really close to that new axis, but that it doesn't actually cross it at all. That's what we call an asymptote. It gets close, but doesn't touch, nor does it cross. That is our first graph. Now we shift our attention to the second graph, and we should be able to speed things up a little bit. The center point will be at negative 1, comma, negative 3. This graph will also open up, and we're multiplying the y-coordinates by 1 half in this case. First, we will place our axes, and we'll put something like this for one of the axes. We have to be able to go left 1, and I guess we'll put something like this for the other axis. Try to be in... Try to be insightful about where you're going to place those original axes so that everything fits on our grid. Then we're going to draw in our center point, which in this problem is at negative 1, comma, negative 3. There it is. We will draw in those new grid lines, so one of them comes like so, and the other one comes like so. Make sure that it's clear what your original axes are and what the new grids are. Now normally it's just up one, but we're multiplied by a half, so it's going to be up a half. Normally when we go left one, we're up a tenth. It's even less than that. You're just going to put that point really close to that new asymptote or axis. And normally when we go right one, it's up ten, but in this case we're multiplying by a half, so right one would be up five. Put the point. This particular graph gets steep fast. There it is. Draw it to the best of your ability. I need to see the main shape, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Those are the first two graphs. Let's look at two more. Here are the items that we're going to sketch. First one, we should be faster on identifying the center point. It's at 1 comma 4. Notice this graph will be drawn down because the multiple is negative. And we threw a little wrinkle our way. This one has a base of 3, but we're multiplying the end y value by 2. On our axes, that part is usual, so we're going to draw this axis here, the horizontal one. We'll draw the vertical axis here. That should leave us room to draw the graph that we need to draw. Label the x, label the y. That seems like a wise thing to do. We will now sketch the center point on our grid. So our center point is it 1 comma 4 we will draw in those new axes making it clear what the new axes are the centered axes as opposed to the original actual axes 
Now normally it would be up, but now we're going down. Normally the point's up one, now it's going to be down one, but we're multiplying by two. So instead of being down one, it'll be down two. In this particular case with a three, three to the negative one is a third. So normally it would be left one down a third, but we're multiplying it by two, so it's going to be down two thirds. Guesstimate it to the best of your ability. And ordinarily it would be right one and up three to the first, which is three, but we're going to be going down six after we multiply it by two and go downwards. So down one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our point. Draw it in. Make sure that we get close to that asymptote, but we don't actually touch it or cross it. And the last problem that we're going to look at here on graphing exponentials, the center point is at negative 2 comma 5. Notice it's opening down because of the negative, and we're not multiplying by anything, so that part's nice. We're centered at negative 2 comma 5 going down, so I'm going to want to put this axis, oh, let's say somewhere like right about here. Hopefully we have enough room. And since we're centered at negative 2, let's put the other axis right about there from an x perspective. Label our axes, the x and the y. Put our center point on the graph at negative 2 comma 5. And then we will draw in our new centered axis. So that's going to be drawn in here like so and here like so. Now we're going down. Normally it's down 1 and we're not multiplying by anything. So the first point is down 1. Usually then it's left 1 and a tenth. So we're going to be really close to that axis, the new one, the new centered axis. And normally it would be right 1 down 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know it will be tricky to draw this perfectly. So draw it to the best of your ability. I know it gets really steep. There it is. And that's how the graph would look. So keep it in mind. Does it go up or down? The first point is usually up one from the center. Adjust accordingly based on whether it's up or down and the multiple. And then use the exponent idea. Go left one and take the reciprocal of the base. Go right one and take the base. And that's how we graph exponentials.